fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to kit up my latest Craftably kit and that is my Eclair the Koala uh, that I got from them. So as you may or may not know Craftably is one of my big 10 and even though I'm working on some other kits at the moment I want to get this one kitted up and ready to go. It is not that big 14 by 14 uh, so what is that 40 by 40 in centimeters and yeah so if I get tired of working on um, the square that I'm currently doing I can move over to this round one and it can count for my big tin so I thought I would just go ahead and get it kitted up now craftively very nicely sends you these lovely stickers um, with the symbols and the DMC codes and everything on it uh, I will be using this one for my log book however these are too big for pretty much every storage I have. So what I did was I scanned these into my computer and then I shrank them down and made them smaller so that they would fit on my bottles here that I want to use. Now I did cut off the numbers um, and I made these using my Xyron. You guys have seen me do that a million times. I did that off camera. I will put, um, there's always a link for the Xyron down below under my favorite DP tools. So you can find that if you're interested. Um, but I'm going to get some of these bottles out while I'm talking. Uh, I wanted to use this bottle case and the big stickers from Craftably would not fit. So I decided to just go ahead and shrink them down so that I could use the system that I wanted. Um, I could have put it in my Elizabeth Ward case, one of those, but I decided I'd rather use my bottle case. That's a little bit easier for me. And yeah, so that's what I decided to do. So uh, a few things before I get started. Uh, slap that like button for me, hit the subscribe button. If you're not part of my Facebook group or you don't join me, haven't followed me on Instagram, go ahead and join me there. You will find links for all of that stuff in the description box below as well. Would love to see you over on my Instagram and would love to see you in the Facebook group. I am trying to be a little more active over in Facebook. I don't Facebook a lot, so uh, I'm trying to remember to be more active over there, but I want this to be a community place for everyone. So, you know, you guys feel free, jump in, post things, post pictures. I would love to see what things you're working on, ask questions. Uh, I can't promise I'll know the answer, but uh, if I can't find it or I don't know it, I will go look for it. So, and having a community is always nice because then you have lots of people who are, uh, have been diamond painting much longer than I have who will go find the information for you. So I'm gonna grab my drink here. You guys, it's been a long day. First of all, I don't know if I'm coming down with something or not. If my voice sounds funny, I apologize. I went out and did some yard work this weekend and I thought it was my allergies, but they are not going away and my allergy medicine is not helping. So I don't know if I'm coming down with something or what. So yeah, my voice is funky. I apologize for that. I've got a drink here. It's been, it's been a couple days y'all. Okay. So I've got all of my um, stickers here already cut and ready to go. So I'm going to just start peeling them and putting them on here. One of the other reasons I wanted to do it this way with the Xyron was that I wasn't quite sure if the Craftably stickers were removable. And while I could have put washi tape on and you know made sure that they just weren't gonna be an issue and all of that, I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna save myself some time. I'm just gonna make them with the Xyron, that way they fit on and they're the way that I want anyway and I'll just be done with it, so. So I've got the original stickers over here so I can make sure that I'm going in order. These came in baggies. So for many of you who um, like to work in baggies, this will be sufficient. And I'm going to have to put this in more than one bottle, I'm almost certain. So I probably need to go grab some additional stickers. Oh, those are going to dump everywhere. You guys, do you ever have those days where like you don't feel good anyway? And then you go to do something and you just, you're like, oh, I'm just going to mess this all up because I'm not feeling at my best. Kind of how I feel today. But I have so many things to do. I need to get some things done. So if I spill, I spill. Not like it's going to be the first time that's ever happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
not even close. So, uh, yeah, I, um, gosh, I should have made some notes. So I kind of had an idea of where I wanted to start. Uh, first of all, I want to say a big thank you to Crystal. Uh, Crystal sent me a very large care package. Okay, these are not cooperating. There we go. Maybe that's going to pour a little bit better. Crystal sent me a very large care package and was super generous with things that I can use in my random acts of kindness and things that I hope I'm going to get to use in some giveaways. These are just jumping everywhere. Okay, let me see if I can get the rest of these in here. Maybe I can get away with just two bottles. Or, you know, I'll just dump them all out because they're going to be annoying. Uh, sent me three kits, which was amazing. So again, thank you, Crystal. I sent her an email and thanked her. Um, she sent, in addition to the three kits, she sent, um, gosh, lots of things. She sent some pens. She sent some, blow up the schmutz there. She sent some pens. She sent wax. She sent uh, baggies. She sent the kits, some trays, just all kinds of goodies, uh, diamond painting related goodies. So a huge thank you to her for doing that. I am going to uh, hopefully be using what she sent in um, not only my random acts of kindness, but in various giveaways. So DP for vets is coming up in November. Those of you who haven't heard about that, uh, that is going to be the second diamond painting event that I'm hosting this year. The first one I did in June, which was DP for pets. And that one was really successful, I thought anyway. So I'm going to be doing a second event uh, called DP for vets. And it is going to be a Remembrance Day slash patriotic slash um, Memorial, not Memorial, Veterans Day kind of thing. So everyone is welcome to participate. I will because of Robin and uh, Crystal's generosity be doing weekly giveaways for things because I now have enough things that I can do that. Uh, and then I will have the grand prize giveaway at the end of it. So um, I will throw a card up in the corner there. You can check out. I've already done one video on um, what it's going to be like. I'll do another one when it gets closer. Why on earth are these sticking? Like this sticker is on the outside. So why are the, the drills sticking too? This, like that's not the sticky side of the bag. How weird. Anyway. And then I will probably be using some of the kits uh, that Crystal sent in my special surprise that I am planning for uh, December. I am not going to be doing an advent calendar kind of kit this year like I did last year. Um, having to, to try and post something every day during December just got to be kind of crazy for me. And so I just kind of decided I wasn't going to do that this year. I will be using her kits um, and some of my own that I've decided I'm not going to keep. And I'm going to be doing um, some special things in December. So there will be more information as that gets closer. But yeah, I'm hoping that's going to be a really fun thing at the end of the year and close to the holidays, well, during the holiday season, uh, for most people, not everybody's holiday season, but most people's, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that, hoping that will be lots of fun. I have lots of cool things now that I'll be able to do that. So thank you again, huge thank you to Crystal and also to Robin for all of the goodies that they sent. And, uh, I will be sending out some more random acts of kindness uh, as I get to them. I'm 
trying to do some other projects at the moment. So those have kind of taken a back seat for a little bit. Um, and I sent out quite a few of them in September. So I will be sending some out, but I don't know exactly when I will get to those. So, okay. Those didn't all stick. I wonder why. Come on, get in. And then I have one little runaway. That doesn't want to get in there. Come on. There we go. So, you guys, not not been feeling well, been dealing with my allergies, and <laughs> so not had the best sleep the last couple of nights, and I got up this morning, and I needed to run some other errands anyway, but I got up this morning, and I was like, oh, well, we have a pantry downstairs in our basement where we keep, you know, extras of lots of things like Kleenexes, toilet paper, you know, canned goods, that kind of thing. Um, and we have a freezer down there as well. So I went down there to, to go get some Kleenex because I had used up the last of what we had upstairs. Well, unbeknownst to me, someone had brought up the last box and not told me, so I didn't realize we were out. So I had no Kleenex. And when your nose is sore, using a substitute is not that great. So since I had to go out anyway, I decided to go out and get some Kleenex for my sore nose. Okay, these little baggies. I don't know if it's static or if it's just me. I just don't wanna pour really well. And of course I say that, now this one's gonna behave and be all nice. <sighs> I mean, I won't complain, I guess. Although, yeah, I don't, see how they're sticking to the, the sticker, but the sticker is on the outside of the bags. That's so weird. If they get just smashed too close to it and it's staticky that it's doing that. Anyway, I'm excited to get this little one up. She's so cute. And yeah, just excited to get this one kitted up so I can start on it. And it's small, so hopefully it won't take very long to do. Which will be nice because I feel like all I've done this year is big kits. Which is not a bad thing, but I just... And I shouldn't say that just coming off of September. I just finished all those small little ones. But up until that point, I think I felt like I was mostly doing the larger kits. And yeah, the 30 finishes did make me feel good. Not going to lie about that having all of those done and meeting that goal for sure was nice, which is spurring me on to make sure that I get my other goals met here. Okay, 452. Some of these just don't have very many drills in them. Maybe I'll just do it this way and save myself. It doesn't save myself a step, but maybe saves myself a little bit of time trying to pour them in the bottle. So I've been busy working on my drills and chills kit, trying to get that one done. Although working on that one has given me the insight that I, so I went through, sorry, I keep kicking something underneath my desk. Uh, I went through my kits when I was doing my stash video. Uh, and I have kind of picked out several that I knew I would not be doing. You guys know that I got a duplicate um, one in my mystery box that I got from Diamond Art Club. So that one is definitely going to be given away to someone. And then Crystal sent me all of those. So those will be going to live with someone else uh, thanks to her. And I just picked out several other ones that I thought, you know, I liked these at the time, but I'm likely not going to do them. So rather than me hanging on to them and them just sticking around in my stash forever, which seems kind of wasteful, uh, I'm going to pass them on. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that yet, but um, I have some ideas. So anyway, working on my Miss Havisham, there are a lot of browns, dark browns, light browns, blacks, 
that kind of thing in the kit. And while I'm enjoying the kit, uh, some of the colors, the drills are just, I don't want to say they're not great. They're resin drills, so they're good for that reason, but because they're resin, they have a lot of defects in them. They have holes in the tops. They are curved on the bottom so they don't stick on the canvas very well. And I'm just spending a lot of time picking out kind of trashy drills. And while I know that can't be helped a lot of the time with those darker colors, it, I just find it too personally frustrating. And I have a kit that is basically a lot of creams and browns that I wasn't sure I wanted to hang on to anyway. And after kind of doing some real work on Miss Havisham, I'm pretty sure I've decided I'm not going to keep that kit. I will gift it on to somebody else because I just don't have the patience to deal with the picking out the drills and things. I just, yeah, not how I want to spend my diamond painting time. So. So that will hopefully benefit someone else because I will be giving those kits away to somebody else. So, yeah. So be looking for that. Uh, I'm working on my Mrs. Havisham and trying to finish that because that's my Drills and Chills kit. And then, of course, I want to move on to other things like this one. And my heaven and earth that I need to finish. And then also I've got some other things to unbox um, as part of my big 10. You guys, okay, so I decided to do my big 10. My last big 10 was going to be my Diamond Painting Deutschland. However, as I've said multiple times on the channel, it is too big. I'm gonna save it for 2023. But then I needed to find something to replace it in my Big Ten, so I decided to order Diamond Dots. So I have a kit coming that I will probably be doing for, it'll serve dual purposes. It'll be for the Big Ten, and then it will also be for DP for Vets. So when it gets here, I'll be unboxing it and showing it to you guys. But <laughs> so I ordered several other things from Joann's because I had some ideas for projects that I wanted to do for the channel and, you know, diamond painting projects. So I ordered the things and one of the things I ordered was, uh, I think I've mentioned before on the channel, I like to use paper planners. That's why my logbook is paper. Uh, I do keep a spreadsheet of all of my diamond paintings and everything. So it's kind of redundant. I end up tracking things in both places, but I like having the analog, the paper to kind of track everything on. I just like the feel of it. So it's getting to be the end of the year. I needed to order a new planner because my planner runs out at the end of this year, of course. So I got on and Joann's was having a sale and I thought, well, okay, I'll just order. They sell the, the, planners that I like, the disc planners that I like, I'll just get on here and I'll order it. So, you know, I'm looking through and I'm finding a, a design, cover design that I like and, you know, the size planner that I like and the pages that I want and the layout that I want. So I order it and I've been waiting. It got, for whatever reason, it got divided into two deliveries. So I got, um, one order on one day and the other order came on a separate day. So I've been waiting and my planner showed up. So I was all excited because I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and set up my planner. I'm making some changes with my log book that I will be sharing with you guys at some point when I get it finished. But I'm basically for my own purposes, I'm moving it to a bigger size. Um, just because it gets kind of annoying to cut the paper and everything for the size that I made my, my planner, my log book. Uh, I want it to fit on eight and a half by 11 paper without me having to cut it out. So I thought, okay, I'll get this planner and then, you know, I'll use the cover and I'll do sizes for my log book and all that kind of stuff. Right. So it gets here and I'm all excited. Okay. Now I can start setting up my 2023 planner and I get it out and I start looking at it 
you guys. And of course, this is again, me not paying attention. The whole reason it was on sale because it was a 2022 planner and I didn't even pay any attention. So I'm gonna make, take the lemons and make lemonade. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that cover, the back and front cover of that 2022 planner, which I didn't need and shouldn't have ordered. And I'm going to use that as the cover for my log book that I'm going to be doing at that size. Um, but I needed a cover for it anyway. So I guess it all works out, but oh, I really got to start paying attention when I order things. I was so happy because it was on sale and didn't even, I mean, I would swear I put in that I was looking for 2023 planners. So I don't know if that one came up and I just didn't happen to notice that it was a 2022. But yeah, it's always something with me, isn't it? So it works out okay. I'm going to, like I said, make lemons out of lemon or make lemonade out of lemons. I got, you know, I have something I can do with it. So, and I will recycle the paper so it won't go to waste. But yeah, just kind of kicking myself when it got here. I was like, really? Because I couldn't believe that I wasn't paying enough attention that I ordered the wrong one. And I know I put in that I was looking for 2023, but when I went back and looked at my order, it definitely says it's a 2022 book. So I'm guessing, like I said, that I think it probably just came up as on sale and my brain went, oh, look, it's on sale. I'll get this one thinking, you know, well, I put these in as I only want to look at 2023. So that's all it's going to show me. I should know better than that. That's never how it works on the internet, is it? So... Okay, and of course, these are going to be in two different bottles, so let me do that with them. Okay, I'm making my way through these pretty quickly, even though I'm kind of having to get them unstuck from a couple of places. Okay, I do need to grab some additional stickers though, especially when I'm doing these bottle cases, when I have these bottles where I have a color in more than one bottle, I always want to um, make sure that I label it because I will pull it out and I will not remember <laughs> what color it is that I'm using and I will get confused. So just to keep my brain on the up and up, I need to do that. Trying to make sure I keep these in DMC order. I keep looking at the other stickers I have laying over here to make sure I'm keeping them in the right order. And then when I get to the end, I'll have the ABs and the crystals that are in this kit. Some of these colors, there are not very many drills at all. Like for instance, this one, that's all the drills that are in this kit. Not very many at all. You guys, and I, I did my first diamond painting short video. I've been seeing them all over the place and I've wanted to make a short video for a while, but I just haven't done it. I am not good with my phone. I film with my phone, but then I typically do all of my editing and everything on PC. So the concept of shooting it with my phone and then editing it with my phone and doing all of that via my phone is intimidating for me because I just, I'm constantly afraid that I'm not going to, I'm going to screw something up. And my YouTube channel is definitely something I don't want to mess up. So I've been a little scared to try it, but I have some ideas for things that I want to do. So I've been trying to figure out how I could get them done. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try a series of things and see how it goes. But they're only little short, like 30 second videos. So you can't do a whole lot with them. But we'll see. I guess they can be up to a minute. I'm still trying to figure out the whole process. I don't quite understand how it all works. I like to think that I'm tech savvy, but 
I, it's easy to get intimidated. I don't know if that's a function of my age at this point. Or if that's just me not wanting to mess things up. I don't know. I keep thinking about getting on TikTok too. My daughter's on TikTok and she loves it. And she keeps telling me I should go over there. And I'm like, but I have so many, darn it. I have so many social medias already. I hesitate to add in another one to, that I need to keep on top of. I have enough trouble keeping on top of the very few that I already have. So, okay. So I definitely need two bottles for this color, which is fun. I love this pink color. So that will be fun. Pick up all the ones I spilled here. I'm just going to dump these in here. I think that'll be easier. Okay. It's been so quiet around here, you guys. My son's been spending a lot of time. School has been in session for a while and he's actually rapidly approaching fall break and one of his classes ends then. So, ooh, I thought I got out of order there for a minute. I think I'm okay though. Am I okay? 963, nine, yes, okay. Ooh, yeah, not very many of this color either. Okay. Anyway, so I haven't seen much of him except for when we go on our walks in the mornings. So he's having some trouble with insomnia. So he's struggling a little bit with that. I've not been feeling great the last couple of days. I told my husband I wasn't going to do any more yard work anymore. I went out and I was only outside for a couple of hours while we were doing some yard work and I sprained my shoulder using the weed whacker because of course I did. And again, I thought it was my allergies, but I don't know at this point if it's my allergies. I feel like at this point, maybe I'm coming down with something. I mean, it feels in some ways like allergies. My throat is scratchy, my nose is running, that kind of thing. but just kind of coffee and achy, which is not usually allergies. So I don't know. And then our weather has been weird. It has been so humid here lately, which is not usually a thing where I'm from. It's usually a dry heat as they say. Um, but it's been really humid here. I mean, we'll get up and go for our walks and even at, you know, six in the morning, it's 50 degrees, but it's like 90% humidity, which is ours is usually 30% or below. So it's kind of crazy. And I don't know if that's messing with me. I don't know. I had a horrible migraine because I thought it was going to rain and the weather is typically what affects my migraines. So I thought it was and it did sprinkle a little bit today, but it never did full on rain. And so I just kind of have been fighting with it, which is never fun. My migraines aren't usually debilitating. I mean, I have had a couple in my life that have been bad enough that I found myself in the floor of my closet with the lights off and a blanket over my head, trying to block out all the light and sound because I was so nauseous. But that happens to me very rarely. Mine are usually weather related. And so I don't, I don't have big issues like that. I can usually take some ibuprofen or something and kind of head them off, but not today. So I did what I usually do. I took a nap, woke up and I felt much better. So maybe I just wasn't getting enough sleep. I don't know. That could be this is so funny to me that these are sticking to the back of that sticker when the sticker is on the outside. Oh, I get in there. Okay. Don't have very many of these either. Okay, I'm on color number 30. I think I have 43 colors, so I'm getting close to the end here. Let's 
So, 37, 50, I'm trying to make sure I've got the right colors going in the right, right containers here because I don't want to make any mistakes. Not that that will stop me, but you know, I try. And I got to say, you guys, I am loving my new diamond painting table. I wasn't sure when we ordered it if I would like it. I mean, I knew I would like it because it would let us let me do a couple things, you know, let me get my dining room table back. It would you know, give me more room to do the things that I wanted that I wasn't really getting out of my drafting table. I mean, the drafting table was kind of sitting there unused because of the various issues. And I mean, nothing to do with the table. It has more to do with the way that I work than anything else, but it just wasn't working for me. And, you know, that's kind of how I approach things. It's, you know, this is my hobby. This is what I'm doing. I've got to do the things that work for me. And well, I know lots of people love the drafting table and absolutely swear by having the angle on it. Uh, I have not found that working on a flat surface really bothers me. Like I said, 90% of the time I was ending up on my dining room table anyway. And while I know that may cause issues for some people with their necks and backs, I have not had that issue so far. Knock on wood anyway. So what I wanted to get was a table that would let me I didn't care if it made me work flat. I was okay with that. Um, but again, for my hip issues, I needed to have something that would go up and down so that I could sit or stand. And since I got the table, it took me a little bit to get used to it. it. Took me a little bit to figure out where it was comfortable for me to sit and stand. But the good thing about it being adjustable is that I could sit it anywhere I wanted. So if I want it to be a little bit higher. I can move it a little bit higher if I'm having a day where, you know, my neck or my back is bothering me. Not that that's happened yet, but if it does. Uh, and same thing when I'm standing. You know, if I find myself kind of leaning too much one way or the other, I can adjust it so that that is not an issue. And I'm actually finding I really enjoy it. I'm able to, when I'm using it standing, I actually end up standing on my bad I don't want to say my bad knee, but I put my weight on that leg, on my left leg. And that, because I'm standing kind of with my hip cocked out, means that I'm stretching out that hip, which is excellent. That was the whole point behind getting the table. So it is working in that respect the way that I want it to. And I got a very large one. It is a 60 by 30 um, top. Got the largest one that we could find and that Amazon would still ship to us. It was the largest table top I could find on Amazon for an adjustable height table. And so I can fit not only, you know, my big canvases on it, but I still have room to put my drills, my trays, you know, my pens, all the other things that I need, my timer, whatever else I need laying there while I'm working, all of it fits on there and I still have room to work. Uh, I have my my two, um, even the bag is stuck, come on. Uh, my two lights that I use set up so that I can move those around and see what I'm doing. I can have my light pad on there if I want. I use, on the drafting table, I have two different sizes of light pads. I have a small one that's about this big and then I have a larger one that is magnetic that I use and it has a dimmable, a tris. it's got a little dial on it so I can lighten or dim it as much as I want um, with the dimmer switch. And I use that one on the drafting table. So that's the one that went on the big adjustable table as well. And the drafting table didn't go to waste. My husband is currently using it, but also if I you know, had discovered that I didn't like the adjustable height table, then I would be able to, you know, go back to using that if I needed to. We didn't just get rid of it. So here's my first set of ABs. It's pretty white ones. Let's see if they'll pour in there without me spilling them everywhere. Nope. Got a little too excited and my hand slipped because of course. 
All right, let me get these back in there. I'm excited to do this little kit. It's not very big, but I thought she was so cute when I saw her and I ordered her. Okay, another AB. I think I'm just gonna continue to dump these out in the tray. Now see, these are not sticking to the stickers. I wonder why that is. Is it because they have the coating on them? This pink is so pretty. Can't wait to try those. Those look gorgeous. I should go buy some more ABs. I haven't bought any in a while. I don't think I've bought any since I got my SpongeBob kit. And of course I haven't worked on it, so. So many things I need to get to. I need to clone myself so I can diamond paint more. And my last AB. And then I am down to the last three colors, which are the crystal colors. And there aren't very many of those, so. Ooh, this is a pretty peacock AB too. Come on, get out of there. I want all the ABs. I don't mind leaving some of the other drills in the bag, and I hate leaving ABs in the bag. Come on, get out. There we go. Yeah, that's a super pretty color. Look at that. Oh. Look at those. Those are so pretty. Okay, let me see. Need three more. And then I will be done kitting this little baby up. And then once I finish my drills and chills kit, which will hopefully not take me too long, then I can start working on this one. Okay, so those didn't stick to the sticker either. Hmm, interesting. All right. I've never seen these LZ codes. I'm assuming that's a craftably thing maybe that they've given it their own little codes. Although now that I think about it, and I said that, I've never seen the LZ, I think, but I do think I've seen a couple of diamond painting companies that instead of just using the numbers, they use L in the number. So, hmm, I don't know. All right, and see, I said they weren't sticking and now these are gonna stick to it just to prove me wrong. Let me get all these out of here. This is another pretty pink color, so I don't want to lose any of these either. Okay, look at that pink. That's so pretty. That berry pink. Still in my pink phase. Don't know why. All right, so there is the end of my kit up for my little Claire Koala. So there you can see all of my drills. I've got everything in here. I do have some, some bottles that have overflow that I need to put stickers on so that I know what the colors of those are, but got everything in here. Got plenty of extras. I've got my little extra stickers. I've got my sticker here for my log book. So yeah, that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon. As always, thanks for watching guys.